parabolas. Let's look at the x-intercept. Graph this quickly. Our vertex is negative one eight there. It's opening up. It's going to do something like this. It's not going to cross the x-axis. Let's have a look at exactly what it looks like. When x is negative one, the y value is equal to 28 divided by three times open bracket. The x value, which is negative one right now, plus one is zero. Squared is still zero. Plus eight is plus eight. When the x is zero, we have 17.3 when it's 1, we have 45 when it's 2, we have 92. At 2, we get 92. That's three steps away from the vertex. So 1, 2, 3. Go through on the other side. 1, 2, 3. Negative 4, we should also have 92. Put in negative 4, we also have 92. This is what your parabola looks like. It's opening up. There are no zeros. Did we have to graph this exactly? No. We could have just... Okay, the vertex is here. It's opening up. There are no zeros. None. It has a vertex of 0, positive 7. It is opening up. We're not going to have a 0. The vertex is at negative 11, negative 6 here, and it's opening up. We're going to have two zeros. Let's see exactly what this looks like. When the x is negative 11, the y value should be negative 6. Is equal to 12 times open bracket, the x value plus 11. Negative 11 plus 11 is 0. Squared is still 0. Minus 6 gives us minus 6. When it is minus 10, we get positive 6. Minus 10, we have positive 6. And how about minus 12? We should also get positive 6. We do get positive 6. It looks like this. We can see our 0 is negative 10 point something and negative 11 point something. We're going to have to use algebra to figure that out. Here's our function. We're going to set the y to 0. That gives us 0 is equal to 12 times open bracket x plus 11 all squared minus 6. I want to get rid of the minus 6. I'm going to add 6 to both sides. That gives us 6 is equal to 12 times x plus 11 squared. I want to get rid of the 12. It's multiplying the bracket, so I'm going to divide both sides by 12. 6 divided by 12 is 0 0.5. 0 0.5 is equal to x plus 11 squared. I'm going to take the square root of both sides to get rid of the square. That's going to give us plus or minus the square root of 0 0.5 is equal to x plus 11. Get rid of the 11. Subtract 11 from both sides. That gives us negative 11 plus or minus the square root of 0 0.5. Negative 11 plus or minus, so I'm going to do minus the square root of 0 0.5, and that gives us negative 11.707. I'm going to fill that down to get the positive plus or minus the square root. I'm going to do the plus square root right there. That gives us negative 10.29. There's the negative 10.29 is right here. Negative 11.707 is right there. And then we press answer to see if we are correct. That's how to find the zeros or the x-intercepts of the parabola.